Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Val. We are getting ready to do our phonics. Today is Tuesday, May 5th, 2020, or you can say it 5520. Remember, it's the fifth month, fifth day, year's 2020. We're gonna go over our spelling words for this week, this real quick. Make sure you have mom give you a pretest so you'll know what to, words to practice, and then do your word choice board of all the different things you can do for your spelling. And then on Friday, it's spelling test day. I think we may only have one more spelling test after this. So you guys are so close to the end, the end so stay with me. All right, your spelling words for this week are taping. See that it only has one P and it has the I-N-G for the ending. Tapping, like I'm tapping my leg. Meter, which is measuring something. Study, sounded catch, edge, reporting, has an I-N-G, a suffix on there, caution, boxes, here's another suffix, change, often. Practice these words and spell them for Miss Stow. Um, be ready to spell them uh, for a spelling test on Friday. All right, so we have finished all the lessons in phonics and now it is time for review. So what are we gonna review this week? Well, today we're gonna to review a consonant diagraphs and tomorrow, on Thursday, we'll view, review vowel diagraphs. So what is a diagraph? Elizabeth, tell me what a, a diagraph is. Okay, it's two letters that come together to make one sound. So our next question is gonna be, what are our vowels? Do we remember our vowels? Okay, let's see, A-E-I-O-U. Very good. So all the other ones in between are our consonants. So it would be B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, there's one of those consonants that can sometimes be a vowel. What is it? Yes, Y, very good. All right, so, we know that a diagraph are two letters that come together to make one sound. And what kind of diagraphs do we have? We have, tell me, Sonia, yes, a consonant diagraph and a vowel diagraph. So today we're gonna to start reviewing consonant diagraphs. So let's see what we have for consonant diagraphs. Gotta get my marker, hold on. All right. Our first one I want us to review, I want you to write the letters C, K, just like this. And remember for our diagraphs, we underline them and we cross out the one that we don't hear. And let's see if we can think of what our key word was or key picture was for this sound. I'm gonna give you a hint. It's, uh, it is a, a type of bird that goes quack, quack. I want you to draw me the picture of what you think that is. I'm gonna draw it, and while I'm drawing it, you draw it, and then we'll decide what the animal is. And just know, Miss Dow is a terrible artist. But I'm gonna try my best on this. And I would like Hampton, to tell me what makes that k sound. The CK makes a k. And what's the word? Duck. Very good. Duck makes that CK sound. K. So that's our first diagraph. Now, oh, give me a second again. I gotta get my eraser. <laughs> oh, Miss Dow, she wasn't ready today. Okay, the second sound for this diagraph, I want you to think of, I want you to write these letters down, T, H, and I want you to split the board in two because we have enough, that TH sound makes two different sounds. One that is unvoiced and one that is voiced. And what do we do when it's voiced? Hey, uh, let's see, Ben. Yes, so through this one, we put a line through it because it makes the voice sound. Now, 
For the unvoiced sound, I want you to think of the thing that we sew with and we put it on our finger so when a uh, needle's coming through, it won't hurt you. I want you to draw that. And then on the other one, I want you to think of what comes off of a duck. What's those things that help their wings, uh, that are on their wings and all over their body? Draw me those two pictures. I'm gonna do it. Let's see who can do it first. All right, here you go. When you're thinking of this sound, thimble, it's unvoiced, thimble. That's the diagraph TH. What do we do with the diagraph? We just simply underline it. All right, and whenever I'm thinking of the voiced one, like feather, I wanna make sure I put my line through it, underline it, and my keyword is a feather. So thimble, feather. Those are the two different sounds for that. All right, here we go. Let's see if you can remember the keyword for the next one, next diagraph. This diagraph makes the ng sound, and it's something that I have on my finger. So write down in G, underline it, and you draw the picture to see if you can remember what it is. Hmm, makes that ng sound. There you go. What is it? Ring. That's right. Ring. That ng sound at the end. All right. Erase, erase. Or cross out your picture. Whatever you do. All right. The next one. This one's kind of a scary creature that lives in the ocean. I want you to write diagraph SH. Shh. What is that? What could it be that makes that sound? He's scary. He lives in the ocean. He's got gigantic teeth. And again, Miss Dow's a terrible drawer, but we're gonna try. What do you think? Shark. Shh. That makes the sh sound, shark. So diagraph SH. All right, here we go. Here's our next one. We just read a book and it was about a mouse and they like this. And I want you to draw the key picture, but your letters are CH. They make the ch sound. Draw me your keyword. What do you think a mouse eats? Miss Dow just burnt a sandwich with this on it. Do you remember what it was? Cheese. Ch the cheese sound. The CH ch cheese. That's the keyword for that one. All right. Next one, review, review, this one. This one's kind of a tricky one because it makes this, these two letters make this one sound and they don't even look anything like it. It makes the sound, it's P-H. And it's something that we talk on or we can text on. What p picture would you draw for that? Hmm, what would, what's that word? If you drew a phone, very good, phone. Sounds like the F, but it's PH with phone. All right, our next one, it is, oh, we're gonna divide our paper into three, just like this. These are our ghost diagraphs. All right, I want you to write K-N, G-N, and W-R. And I would like for Wiley to tell me on all three of these, there's one letter in each one of those that you can't hear at all. Wiley, what about in the K-N? Can you hear the K or the N? Right, we're gonna cross out the K because it's silent. All right, and the G-N, which one will we cross out? Very good, Wiley, we cross out the G because it's silent and we undermine it because it's a diagraph. And the last one, the W-R, yes, we cross out the W because it's silent and underline the R. So let's think of our pictures for that. Hmm, those words that are gonna make this sound, all right? When I am cutting a piece of cake or I'm cutting a piece of cheese or a piece of steak, 
What would I use? Draw me a picture of what I would use to cut a piece of food. Do you draw a knife? Very good. A knife would cut a piece of cake or cut a food. All right, and it makes the n sound. All right, have another one, another ghost one. This is a little pesky little thing and it will bite you or nip at you and they fly all around and you shoo them all away. It is a gnat, gnat. That makes that n sound. Silent G, you hear the N. All right, and the last thing is this thing that you put on your door um, for Christmas and you decorate, or we made one just at Easter where we put all the different things that happened to Jesus at Easter, and it's really pretty on your front door and you can um, decorate it however you want. You drew a wreath, that's very good. Wreath is the WR um, ghost diagraph and it makes the rrr sound. All right, here we go, boys and girls. I'm ready for you to spell some words for me. The first word I'd like you to spell is the word black, black. Can you spell the word black? Listen to it. All of these words are gonna have our diagraphs in it, and I want you to spell it, and then I want you to code our diagraph. All right, let's see, I left off with Wiley. Now I want Ernie, spell black for number, you're gonna do it on number 11. We're going to, we're on lesson 131. Cross out one through 11. Go down to number 11 and spell the word black. Okay, Ernie. Very good. B L A C K. And our diagraph is C K and we cross out the C because we can't hear the C and we can hear the K. Very good. All right. The next one we have is the word those. Spell the word those. All right, Ryder, spell those. It has one of those diagraphs in it. Yes, Ryder, the TH, those. Very good. And we want to underline that diagraph. Very good. All right, the next one we have is thank. I want to thank someone for buying me a gift. Thank. Doesn't have the I, not the I and K, but it has other vowel in there. And diagraph. All right, um, Declan, spell it for me. Thank you. Yes, T H, not I, Declan, but A. Very good. T H A N K. And we're going to underline that too. All right, the next word I have for number 14, I want you to spell the word show. Show me your work, please. Show me your work, please. Okay, I would like Anna Grace to spell the word show. What makes that sh sound? The two letters that come together, it's that diagraph. Very good, Anna Grace. S-H-O-W. Underline S-H because that's our diagraph in this sentence. All right, and we're just underlining the um, consonant diagraphs today because that's how we're reviewing. All right. Next, I'd like you to spell the word much. I thank you so much for buying me a gift, much. Or how much is that dog in the window? Spell the word much. Okay, I'd like for, let's see, Anna Grace Emerson, spell much. Very good, M-U-C-H. Good job, and what's our diagraph in that Emerson? Yes, it is C-H. All right, for number 16, spell the word bring. Ooh, bring. A lot of you forget this diagraph. All right, Katie Ann, spell the word bring. B-R-I-N-G. Very good. Oh, yes, Katie Ann. N-G is the, uh, the consonant diagraph in that. All right, last one. Number 17, tricky word, it makes that sound, and it is phone. 
spell the word phone. Okay, let's see. Who am I gonna call on? Um, Katie and Catherine Tabor. Yes, P H, very good. O N E, very good. And P H, yes, that is our consonant digraph. Very good. Now, I want you to stop the video. I would like for you to code number 18 through 24. And Miss Dow, gonna give you about 10 seconds. Now, I'm gonna code the words with you. So let's look at all the words that we have up here. Let's look at number 18. All right, I see I have a compound word, so I know I'm gonna split it in the middle. And I see I have a digraph TH, and I hear that that is a short A sound. Very good. Look at there, I've got O consonant E, so that's a silent E. Let's see if we can say that word. Um, Christina, what's that word? It's two words, bathrobe, bathrobe. Very good. Now, Christine, I want you to code number 19 for me. All right. Yes, it is two words, so we're gonna split it down the middle, and you do see the CH digraph, good girl, and you see that you're just going to put a breathe over the U and the breathe over the, I'm sorry, breathe over the I and the breathe over the U. Good job, Christina. Kiss that brain of yours, proud of you. All right, last on my list, Lynn. Oh, this one has a couple of things. Let's see if you get it. Yes, Lynn, first, we're gonna box in our suffix. Very good. And yes, oh, Lynn, there are a couple of digraphs. You hear digraph E-A, cross out the A, and it's a short E, and then digraph T-H, very good. And it does make that voice sound, so you put your line through it, and then yes, ma'am, you do have combination ER. And what's that, Ernie? You, Lynn, you forgot. Don't forget to put the S, a line through the S because it is a voiced S. Let's see if we can say the word without the suffix on it. Let's say it together. Feather, feathers, very good. All right, Elizabeth, can you Code this word, it is a big word, and it's got a lot going on. All right, first you see the, um, uh, the digraph CH and the digraph CK. We want to cross out the C because we can only hear the K sound, and it is checker, okay, yep, sure E. Oh yes, we split it because it is combination, I'm sorry, a compound word, and yes ma'am, you do, we have the OA digraph and we cross out the, uh, what'd you say, the A, yep, and we put a macron over the O. And did you say you saw a vowel pattern? Very good, I do too. So you see a V, C, V pattern. Very good, vowel E, vowel E, and a consonant right there because your two letters are coming together to make one sound, all right? Next thing I have, let's see if we can say the word together. Say it, let's say the first word, checker. Second word, board. Checkerboard. Very good. All right, here we go. I would like for um, number 22, I would like for Sonia to code number 22. All right, yes. You see digraph EA, cross out the A, put a macron over the E because it's making the long E sound. Oh yes, split it because it's two words. And you see another digraph, PH. Very good. Oh, Sonia, you got it, girl. Yes, there is a suffix. It's suffix S. And yes, ma'am, it is long O. We cross out the E because it's the O consonant E. So let's say the word together, ear bones phones. Very good. All right, now let's look at number 23, Hampton. Big word. Big, big word. You do it. All right, tell me what you got. Yes, you do split it because it is two words. Yes, sir. NG is a digraph. 
Good job, Hampton. And it is a short eye. Very good. And yes, sir, you see the I constant E. And what do we do to that E when you can't hear it? We slash it out like Zorro and we put a macron over the I. Good job. Now, let's see if we can say that word. Two word, two words. Spring time, spring time. Very good. All right, our last word of the day. We're getting close to the end. All right, let's see if we can do it. Uh, ben, can you do this? Yes, Ben, you see it. Suffix ES. Yes, sir, we split it in the middle because it is a compound word. Yes, sir, we have I, A consonant I. What am I talking about, A consonant I? A, I digraph, we cross out the I because we can't hear it and we're making it a long A. And brushes, yes, sir, SH is a digraph and it is a short U. Now let's say the word together. Paint brushes, paint brushes. Very good, let me ask you another question. If I were to take off the ES, do I still have a word? I do, it's just a single paintbrush. But when I put that ES on it, it means more than one. All right, boys and girls, you have done the front of the worksheet. We have done that together. Now I want you to flip your sheet over. I've sent this uh, to mom and dad through email. I want you to read the paragraph, answer the questions on the back, and then, um, your finish for the day for your phonics. So I hope you guys have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.